Now, to their supporters, free schools offer a new approach to education. To their critics, they're a potential drain on limited resources in the state system. Well, six are opening in the northwest this term, and our chief reporter Dave Guest has been following the fortunes of one of them near Runcorn. Last night, we saw the effort that's gone into getting it off the ground. Today, he joins pupils and teachers for their first day. It's all hands to the pumps at Sandymore Free School. There are just 24 hours to go before the first pupils arrive. We desperately want to get this place absolutely tip-top for when people come in on Monday. Alex Hurst is one of those people. It's day one of the new term. Of course she's nervous, who isn't on their first day at a new school. At the school, her teachers are sharing those first day nerves. Sarah and I got the same. hours, term times and curriculum. Every single student is going to have a personalised curriculum plan written for them uh, to their needs and identifying their particular ways that they are special. And if you are in Sandy Moore's first intake numbers just 20. Critics of free schools say they'll get an unfair share of limited state resources. But supporters at Sandy Moore School insist it was created to meet a genuine local need. Sandy Moore is a relatively new village that is currently expanding and we felt it would be uh, it would be good uh, to have a school within our community itself. So Sandy Moore School is now open for business. Yes, the pupil numbers aren't exactly huge at the moment, though they expect to double the numbers by this time next year. They also say they'll be extending these temporary buildings by then.